Oh, uh, oh, oh! Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! It jumps! It jumps! Help! Help! <laughs> Bitch! I'm him! Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people! <laughs> my voice cracked. I'm still waking up. I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to my friendly neighborhood. Or I guess in this case, my unfriendly neighborhood. <laughs> in the last video, we did a lot of backtracking. Like like when I tell you that we did a lot of backtracking, it was an hour and how long was that video? An hour and fifteen minutes of backtracking to find secrets and to eventually make our way up to the antenna so that we can turn off the broadcasting from my friendly neighborhood. Lightning struck and we ended up falling deep, deep down into the recesses of the studio and made our way to the unfriendly neighborhood where things are not exactly as they seem. Some of these puppets just don't belong here. The unfriendly neighborhood. And I already kind of dipped my toes in a little bit so I know sort of what to expect. I need to get, I need to get the punctuation out. I, I think that's what it's called. Because there's going to be a, a shit ton of puppets coming my way. Grenade! Okay, that's not working. How do I kill them? Can I kill them? I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run. I think that's the best option is to just run. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! It jumps! It jumps! Help! Help! What is this? Help! This is not how I expected to start the video! Oh, I'm not gonna melee that thing. There is no way. Am I out? Oh! Emergency lockdown release? Is that what I need to push? I need to pull that. I need to pull that. Stay one second while I pull that. Help! Oh, it doesn't kill me. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm out of ammo. Oh, I actually have to kill this thing. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't do damage if I have no ammo. Can I? <laughs> can I at least get some ammo, please? All right. So at least I know not to waste my punctuation on the horde of um, the horde of the unfriendly. I'm gonna pop a choco bar. So that I can run fast. Yeah, look at how speedy I am. There's no way they can catch up to me now. Try to get me. Exactly. You're not even. Yeah, exactly. All right. I'm just gonna fire at it. I'm just gonna keep firing. Great. Alright, that's all I got. I, um, I kind of expected it to die after I used the punctuation. Ow. Alright, new plan. New plan. I'm gonna wait for it to jump at me. I'm gonna wait for it to charge. And then I'm gonna duck out of the way. And then when it kind of recovers... Oh, back away! Uh, this is not exactly going to plan. No! It's got reach. It's got kind of a reach. All right, okay, this works, this works, this works. I can make this work. I can make this work. Ugh, 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 it's gonna take a while, but I can make this work. Will you die already, please? Oh my goodness. It is like criminal how many hits you take. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be fighting this, right? Because there's no way with the ammo that they give you in this game that you're actually supposed to have it. No. It's not even like there's ammo um, sprawled around here. I legit just don't have... Like, look at this. Look at this. What kind of shit? Look at this. Give me some ammo. So, like, there, there's no ammo. There's absolutely no ammo I can pick up while I'm out here. 
Like before the before the going gets going. Unfriendly neighborhood. I can't pick up any ammo. No ammo back here. No secrets. No secret tapes. I'd I'd honestly settle for a secret tape right now. I, I legit, I don't think that my wrist, like my wrist is actually tensing up while I'm, cause I have to, I have to move, I have to, uh, uh, strife to the left or the right, depending on like how much space I have on either side. And then I have to continue moving back in case the thing lunges at me. And so now my, my fingers are going like this. It's like I'm playing a guitar. My fingers are going like this cause I've got one finger pushing the back button and the other one pushing the right or the left and then this one is just sitting here and it's not like i can just detach it from my hand because th that's not how the human anatomy works for some reason I, 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 how many hits is this thing supposed to take what if i start with like wailing on it what if i start hitting it with the with the wrench that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start hitting it with the wrench all right come at me big fella Can y'all hear the saxophone in the back killing it though? It's going ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. great. Oh, that saxophone! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm over here talking about the goddamn saxophone. That saxophone is killing it though. Oh, okay, okay, wait, 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 I've noticed something. So I pulled the lever for the uh, for the, the lockdown, and that door, that gate is slowly lowering. So I don't think I'm actually supposed to be able to kill this thing. I am supposed to try and survive as long as I can. That is a thing I have to do. So maybe in the process, while I'm trying to survive, I can try to kill it. Maybe it's an achievement that like, only 0.1% of players can achieve. And I might be those 0.1% of players. Oh my god, that saxophone. Alright, go, 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 go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ugh. Was it possible to kill that thing? Could I have done it? Dear children. I am sorry to announce that this will be our final episode. I wanted to take a moment to address you personally so that you may have a final lesson to remember after we're gone. Our world can be hard and scary. It can sometimes be difficult to know what's right and wrong. Because the world is broken, and we're broken too. Our hearts are hollow and dark, unfriendly. And there is nothing in this world that can fix us. No beauty, no power, no food, no fame. What we need is for light beyond our world the light that is also love to reach down and seize our hearts and bring us back to itself in our show we've tried to give you a glimpse of that light so the message i want to leave you with is this have faith in the light sometimes it may be scary sometimes it may hurt sometimes it's hard to know what's right and wrong because good and bad are all jumbled up and confusing and when that happens it can hurt a lot but have faith in the light, because the light will rescue you from the darkness. The 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 contrast between light and dark here is giving me heavy Kingdom Hearts vibes. That, that's like it's heavy Kingdom Hearts vibes right there. Secret tape. Yeah, the 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 whole the whole thing about light, heart, darkness, heart, dark, light, darkness, uh friendship, darkness, light, dark. Is this a Kingdom Hearts spinoff? Am I going to find out that this was also made by Disney and Square Enix? Oh. Oh! Map. R Rick A! Ding, 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 ding! Rick A! Rick A! Richard!
escape the unfriendly neighborhood without defeating the boss. Oh, I didn't have ammo for it. I didn't have ammo for that shit. And I wasn't going to sit there wrenching it the whole time. Would I have gotten, I, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten a different ending had I defeated the boss. Ugh. If this is the end of the game, I'm going to. Good. I'm leaving. Yes, you should. Job well done, Gordon. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handy man extraordinaire. Don't mock me, Ricky. Mock you? I would never. Oh, before you go, I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. Oh? You've been hanging around the studio. You know a little bit about our show. You want me to spread the word? Out, Ricky. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? Ricky, yeah. I'm just a maintenance man. I don't know how to run a studio. Oh, I think you can handle it. It can't be that hard. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? You're not Mr. Rogers. Ooh, choices, decisions. Okay, um, well, I have an opportunity to go back if I ever want to, so. <sighs> Me personally, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. I'm dipping. Like, dap me up, sock. But I'm, I'm out of here. There's no way in hell I'm staying in this place. Not only did the unfriendly neighbors attack me, but so did the friendly neighbors. I've been attacked. I've been. I've been chased, I've been harassed. I <laughs> logically I have absolutely no reason to stay here. I I want to the nice thing to do would be to say yes, but me personally, me personally because I know I have the option to go back and say yes, I'm gonna say no. Sorry, Ricky. No, not sorry. Fuck you, Ricky. <laughs> I just don't think that's a good idea. Gordon Everyone's counting on it. No, they're not. That's my final answer, Ricky. Eh, final answer. Be that way. Don't guilt trip me. Well, I guess it's time for you to go, Gordon. Adios. Hope you have a nice life as a bitter old man. I will. Anything better than staying here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Getting the fuck about here. There are a lot of secrets that I did not get to, um... There are a lot of secrets that I didn't get to unlock. There's probably a lot of secret tapes that I didn't find. But, I'm not a completionist. Nobody ever said that I was planning on completing this game. After I got back to the office, my boss told me that everyone was really happy with what I did. Even though the puppets messed up another night's news. I got promoted to manager. Got an office with a window. But for some reason, I can't stop thinking about the neighborhood. It's because you know what the right thing to do was. For the next few months, I actually started watching the nightly news. Don't know why. Maybe I just wanted to see if something happened. He grew attached. But he caught feelings. Happened. And at some point, I got distracted. I forgot about it. I mean, hey, I was promoted to manager, so fuck the neighborhood. I'm making bank, probably. I don't know how much maintenance managers make. That was a tongue twister right there. Maintenance managers make, maintenance, ma maintenance managers make, maintenance managers make, maintenance managers make. I guess not.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, think I ended early. Can we uh, go back to the beginning? No, Norman. Piss off. Norman is public enemy number one. Nine. I got a B. I'll take a B. I'll take a B. Speed run mode, free cam mode, veteran. Ooh, long arms. Speedy Gordon, triple enemies, speedy enemies, jointless ragdolls. Chipmunk voice. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I like that one. I already didn't like their voices as is. Imagine if they talk like this! That sounds more toad than chipmunk. <laughs> Slow-mo. Mega wrench. Oh. Oh yeah. I missed some stuff. That's fine. Nobody ever said I was a completionist. Alright, I'm... Oh, cleared. No. No. The game fought. No! 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 <laughs> No! Do I dare? <laughs> Do I dare? Do I dare start a new game? No! I thought it'd be- Oh, that was my fault. That was my bad. I thought it'd be like, if I saved the game before the boss fight, when I finished the game, I could load the game back up at the boss fight. I didn't think that it was going to clear it for me. No! Because now I, I want to know what happens if I defeat- How long would it take me to defeat the boss? What would happen if I say yes? What would the neighborhood look like? Ugh. Ugh, oh, that's gonna haunt me. Ugh, oh, now I gotta play this game in my free time. I have to play this game in my free time and make my way back to the ending so that I can start record- Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. oh my lord. No. No. Ah. Uh, right, I just want to see what the game looks like with all these cheats activated. The true embodiment of horror. Do I do I dare? Do I dare? It's not like I'm actually going to play the game through veteran, but like, do I dare? Why not? Hey. Oh my. Um, uh, uh, hold on. Hello? Hello? Why are there puppets out here already? Hello? Uh, uh, Norman. Norman, wait. Norman. Norman. Back. Why are there so many of them all of a sudden? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Alright. Bye, Norman. Oh! 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 Do I, where's my wrench? Do I not have my wrench? Oh! Uh... I'm out of ammo, so I, um, I think you guys shouldn't. Can you, can you not? Um, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna pass you. I'm gonna pass you. I'm gonna pass you. I never got through that door either. Okay, I'm, um, I, my friendly neighborhood, we're done. No, you ain't. <sighs> I hope you guys know that I really love you. Like, nobody can ever say that that one dude, Chris, does not love his audience. Because you have no idea what I just went through. I, let me, hi, welcome back. Um. Let me show you guys what you've been missing. So I did make my <laughs> I did make my way back to the boss fight again. You what? 
let me let me just uh let me show you something real quick so we had the outside clear cool all right i also did find out that you can adjust the floors by pressing was or w and s um so we did get the exterior couldn't get hotel one i i don't know what i was missing there i again combed through this whole area don't know how to activate those doors i thought if i put the masks on the uh on the puppets uh over here the statue puppets that it would unlock something but there's a fifth puppet which means that there's probably a fifth mask somewhere <laughs> stage four couldn't get this i got the uh the combination lock but there was also that little the the, the dome thing with the eldritch writing all around it <laughs> i got all of this cleared right here all of it every single bit of floor two every single bit of floor three floor four cleared cool sewers cleared it all west and east uh um again combed through it couldn't figure it out the office cleared it out except for the projection room again comb through it i don't know what i miss i listen i did not necessarily feel like going through a bunch of different walkthroughs whatever um cleared it out every single floor cleared it out garden I even cleared out the freaking um, this room. Do you remember in the last video where I couldn't figure out what I was missing in the in the the solution room? It was some coins just sitting in a corner. Penthouse cleared it out. I have cleared out this entire game for you guys. So let me show you what you've been missing. I have all of these keys which I can now discard because I know for a fact that I'm not going to need them ever again. I'm gonna save one more time. Because this is the final boss fight, so I'm not going to need the stage, uh, yeah, that. I'm not going to need this anymore, so I can discard that. Not going to need this, discard that. I'm trying to make room because I did find this Gatling gun, this dummy thick weapon with like 999 rounds of ammo. Yeah, that's a thing. I have so much ammo for everything. Like I did not use, uh, I didn't get the shotgun until literally before I started recording. I went and got the shotgun, came here, did the penthouse section, and then started recording. Like, I haven't used the shotgun, didn't use the punctuations. I'm loaded for this fight. If it doesn't die in, like, five hits, I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's go ahead and save one more time for the one time. Look at that. Only five saves. Took me two hours and 48 minutes to get here. My, my original playthrough, I think, took me, like, four hours. I cut my time in half. I'm him. Don't ever say that I don't love you guys. Look at that. Look at that. I'm full up on ammo for everything. Punctuations? Got it. Ammo for the, the novelist? Got it. Conclusion? Got it. Stenographer? Got it. I'm I'm pumped. I'm ready. There's nothing. This thing. It, look at that. 999 rounds of ammo. Come on. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, they're coming after me. What do I do? Ah! Come on. Yeah, you can do better. Bitch, come at me. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Who else wants it? Who else wants it? I'm un- I'm invincible! I'm unstoppable! <laughs> look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> Bitch! I'm him! What? What are you doing now? Oh. Yeah, teabag, teabag. I can't teabag in the game, so I'm gonna teabag. Do I have to wait for this door? Oh, okay. Okay. Teabag. Yeah. I barely even use half my. Barely even use half my ammo on you. What can I say? I'm a beast by nature. I. Don't ever do that again, Chris. Defeat the boss and escape the unfriendly neighborhood. Let's go! Oh, 
Now we're going to say yes to Ricky's offer instead of no. Never. Ever. N never say that I don't love you guys. The extents that I will go for my community. What if you end up like them? I don't think we're the ones you should be worried about, Gordon. Is he insinuating that I'm the one who's going to go crazy? Come on. Am I going to become an unfriendly neighbor? Our neighbor? Yeah, sure. Fine. We'll give it a shot. I guess. Oh, Gordon, I'm so glad <sighs> we will have such fun. I'm not living here, though. Well, we'll talk about that. Oh, Gordon, thank you. Thank you for being our friend. I am bursting at the seams i must go tell the others at once please don't night, then? Uh, no 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 it's no it's decided tomorrow night see you later gordon arrivederci toodaloo arrivederci ciao oh brian what have you done this time i got fired is what i did a new uh, dawn a new day dawns access tv it was late night on weekdays i don't think anyone watched it within a couple of weeks though word was starting to get out some people loved the show, some people hated it. That caught the network's attention. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Of course, after my boss found out I was involved, I got fired. That's fine, I run a studio now. Somehow, I feel a little hopeful about it. And that's all that matters. That's what a job should be. Describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel. Until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around and you see the right. Oh, I did not mean to skip that. I was trying to pause it. Was that a triangle door in the playground? Oh my lord. Oh my god. Was that a triangle door in the playground that I missed? Did I miss something? No, I wouldn't have missed something. It wouldn't have been red. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna watch the, the full ending. I apologize for that. I. Huh, okay. We did it! We got both endings of my friendly neighborhood. Again, never say that I do not love you guys. Because I did not have to play through that entire game again. I enjoyed it. I really did like it. The puppets were fun. Uh, it wasn't oversaturated with like a bunch of different characters. Each character and where they were placed in the game fit perfectly. It was like the dogs... You, you met the dogs first in a new area of the game. You met Goblet in the sewers, or not uh, Goblet, uh, in the manor. Uh, you met Ray in the sewers. And it was also really fun to be able to help them all out. Like, I didn't know that that was a thing you could do. Three deaths, five saves. I got an A, where's my S ranking? You probably have to save like one time, die zero times and get 50 minutes of play time. I want an S rank, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Um, okay. Better score than what I got initially. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. This game came to a, a satisfying conclusion. I don't know. There isn't really much to say. I feel like I don't necessarily think that the, it probably is, but I don't necessarily think that the concept of it all is as dark as I think. Initially, when I first started playing, I thought that, you know, the, the, the directors and the actors and whoever were playing as like the puppets were all like they swapped minds and bodies or something like that with their puppet counterparts or something. I don't know what I was thinking. I I never have the proper theories and speculations. That's why I leave it to the other people. I just play the games. I'm just the gamer, not the speculator. I don't know. Again, I would really like to see a second game of this at somehow whatever the canon ending is supposed to be. I would like to see. I would play it again. I, I wouldn't mind a sequel to this. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the canon answer is. I don't know what your canon final choice would be to say yes or no. Uh, I don't know what the canon is with the boss. Maybe like the canon for the game would be that you don't defeat the boss and you leave the unfriendly neighborhood. And in the next game, the unfriendly puppets come up to the surface and I don't know, start fucking shit up. And now you have to go back because you said no. Maybe that's the canon. Or you defeat the boss, you say yes, and I guess that's the whole point of multiple endings is because there's multiple cannons, I suppose. I don't know. That's not exactly how a cannon works, but a continuation of that. Like maybe after we help run the studio, if the, if we say yes 
to be if yes is the canon ending then how about like when we uh help out running the studio there's a rival studio that comes about that we have to i don't know shut down we have to go to like their studio and shut it down and they also have sentient annoying talkative semi-evil puppets Maybe not that one. I think you should just go with my other idea of the unfriendly neighbors coming up to the surface. So yeah, let me get to YouTube real quick so that I can get the full the full ending for you guys. Uh, we are watching the rest of the ending from a channel called Baby Zone. Shout out to you, Baby Zone. Probably never gonna see. This. Look at how many subscribers they have. They're they're never gonna see this video. Either way, it's it's a good thing to do to to shout out and credit those who are helping you out, Baby Zone. Uh, baby zone it says all endings we got the secret ending where you leave before beating the game uh, i think i got that one in like the first or second episode within a couple of weeks though word was starting to get out some people loved the show some people hated it that caught the network's attention and by the end of the year we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season at that point i figured i had done my part so I stopped showing up at the studio in the evenings. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to keep my head down. Wait, what? I never told anyone I was helping bring back the show. But for some reason, it keeps bugging me. I can't forget about it. And some nights, I catch myself staring out the window. Wondering what's happening in the neighborhood. So he helped bring back the show and then stopped... Okay, and he helped bring back the show and then left? What's it the what? That was the whole point! Now he's out of a job! He stopped working as a maintenance man to help out the studio. He felt good about it and then felt like his job was done at the studio and stopped working at the studio. So now he's really not making any money. What the fuck? What the hell? At that point, I figured I had done my part. Wait, so. This isn't the same as what i got i was seeing like shots from the neighborhood these are like shots from his apartment do you get a different ending whether you beat the boss or not hold on all right this one this one is coming from a channel called good game again 2.13k subs probably never gonna see this video but still a good thing to do uh this is if you help everyone and say yes so we helped the dogs we helped Goblet, we helped Pearl, um, and, and, and Ray. So now we get the, yeah, now we get the intro or the ending that we were going to get. And by the end of the year, we had three channels wanting to sign for a whole season. Of course, after my boss found out I was involved, I got fired. But somehow, I feel a little hopeful about it. Okay, this is familiar. It's hard to describe. It's like you've been lost in a tunnel. Until suddenly a voice calls your name. And you turn around and you see the rising sun. And it's so bright, maybe it hurts a little to look at. But you don't care. Because it's leading you home. Ah, oh, nice. Nice. No, nice. we're going to pretend that the credits rolled after that. <laughs> Damn, I really wish I hadn't pressed escape to skip that. That's what I get for fucking around with shit. I feel very satisfied with that ending. That was a good ending. I didn't... Again, had I known that I wouldn't have been able to go back and reload up my last save, I definitely would have picked yes. But realistically, let's be honest, realistically... Would you have stayed either? Like, I, I wouldn't. That's why I chose no. Because realistically, your boy, that one dude, Chris, Christian Green. It's my full name, by the way. Only those who watch this video are going to know that. So those who don't watch the video, they don't. I personally would not have stayed. I don't know about you, but nope, wouldn't have stayed. So that is it for My Friendly Neighborhood. I really don't have much else to say about the game. It was nice. It was fun. There's an opportunity for a second game. If they decide to do so, I gave you some ideas, guys. Uh, go ahead and, you know, workshop it a little bit. It's not fully defined or anything. I'm going to get out of here. 
I love you guys so much. It was shown in this video. If if you don't believe that by now, this video is a representation of how much I love you guys because I played through a three hour game uh, in a little over two hours so that I could get back to where I was last saved. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. Ah, I'm so hungry. It's breakfast time, guys.